So we can actually improve this render a bit. Let's just inact activate environment lighting. Much better. I'll just bring this down for later. Okay. So we have our nice unwrapped cube here, but we can also do something a bit more complex with one of the other uh I'm just save here. One of the other uh, primitives, and that is a sphere. So let's just hide this, collapse that back into one, and just move this over here, and add a so shift A, add a mesh uh, UV sphere. Now that seems kind of dense for now, so I'll just just bring this down to 12, make it fairly low poly, or even let's start over, bring that down to eight. So it should give you a nice, fairly low polygon, uh, low, low vertex count for the sphere, and it also gives us enough stuff to work with. So let's start out by making our uh, seams here. What I'm going to be mapping to this, whoops, sorry, I had this in full screen mode. Now what we're going to be mapping is this texture which I created for the uh, Blender Game Engine test video. Uh, which can be found on my Vimeo or YouTube channel. Uh, this is for, for uh, billiard balls in the game engine. And I just pulled that into my uh, tutorial folder. So that's where we're going to be mapping. But since it's a billiard ball, you have to have it on the sphere. So we have to unwrap the sphere. So first off, let's select this edge loop here by pressing Alt, right click on the edge loop. You can also select pretty much any edge loop you want and just mark the scene. Now you could also just leave it like that because since the rest of the color is just solid red, you wouldn't really need to worry about having the mesh, the rest of the mesh stretch or stuff like that. But I am going to be uh, doing this a bit more cleanly. So let's unwrap another one, get another edge here, and just mark another edge over here, and maybe another one on the other side. There. So if we unwrap this, let's bring up our UV image editor again. Now we still have it to the <laughs> set to the render result, which we do not want. Let's just pull in our image right now. Uh, whoops. So let's pull in billiard ball. And it's not there. Why is it not there? Oh, okay. Let's bring in the billiard ball. Oh, it's gone again. Sorry about that. There. Let's un... Oh, come on. Display current image. There. Okay, so let's unwrap this before I do anything else. And we get these four sections because we've unwrapped the this section here all the way around into one piece, the other one over here, and these two caps, which is perfect. So let's bring in our image once again, and we get these huge mesh shapes, which we do not want because we want the one number centered on the one thing. Let's just shrink, whoops, shrink these down, say right there, because no matter how, you sh how small you shrink them, it is all relative. Like time. Mm. Okay, let's just, whoops. Let's just move that over here. There. And bring, uh, which one is that? Okay, so that's the wrong one. So I want this one, because I want the top one. So let's just move this right over here. Roughly centered. And this one we don't really need to worry about, so let's just move there. And, if you go back into textured mode, you should have a billiard ball. However, you can also just rotate this so you can get it the right way around. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, that seems fine. So that should be fine. And we have a billiard ball. Let me just activate a subsurf here. Look nicer. There. So you have a billiard ball. So the same thing applies here because the billiard ball will not render. So we just go into, uh, oops, it doesn't have a material. Let's add one. 
billiard ball and name this UV texture and just repeat the same steps switch 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 them switch this to UV and just select UV text and okay oh whoops sorry I forgot to switch this type over to image there and billiard ball let's just set that to smooth and we can get this nice render we just move these add an empty and just drag the camera to the empty and just move it over here and render there you have it a billiard ball and a cube so that's really basics of unwrapping. I'm not an expert at this. I have only recently begun to really understand how it works. I've not unwrapped anything really complex like a head or anything like that. Just really cylindrical objects, uh, hemispheres, stuff like that. But hopefully this was uh, helpful and see you soon. Well, actually not see you soon, but you know what I mean.